Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use a triple beam balance in order to measure mass and I'm also going to go through and indicate all the different parts of a triple beam balance. Okay, on a triple beam balance starting from on the left uh, we have the measurement tray which is at the top here indicated uh, by the, where the pencil is pointing. Uh, we also have the adjustment knob which is on the left side here. The adjustment knob is used uh, in order to uh, calibrate the triple beam balance and in order to figure out if the triple beam balance is well calibrated over here on the right side all right, where the pencil is you'll notice that there is a zero marker indicated by the zero and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so that you can see that There is a zero marker over here on the right side and also there is a pointer. When the pointer points at approximately where the zero, uh, where the zero marker is, that means that the triple beam balance is calibrated. And as you can see here, it's slightly off and in order to adjust that, you would go over to the left side over here where the knob is and you turn that in order to adjust it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust it just a little bit. I'm going to see if we can get this to uh, balance out here. Okay, that appears to have made it worse. So I'm going to turn it in the opposite direction, the adjustment knob. And we're just going to wait for that to settle down a little bit here. All right, let me do it a little bit more. Okay, that seems to be better. So at this point now, we can say that our triple beam balance has been calibrated. All right, now that we've talked about the uh, parts on the left and right side, let's go back here to the center. And in the center, I'm going to zoom back just a little bit. We have three what are called riders here in the back. We have one rider that has a scale uh, that adjusts by uh, grams. We have uh, with a max between 0 and 10 grams here in the front. We have one rider in the back here that adjusts from 0 to 500 grams. And then we have one in the back that adjusts from 0 to 100 grams. So there are three riders and those three riders are sitting on three different beams. Okay, And the beams are these scales on the back here. And since there are three beams, we call this a triple beam balance. All right, so let's say you are tasked with finding the mass of, let's say, uh, this block right here. In order to do that, we'll uh, find the mass of the block. We'll go ahead and put the mass on the pan there. And then we need to adjust the triple beam, uh, the riders on the triple beams, uh, in order to get the marker the zero marker and the pointer to match up. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and I'm going to zoom in. Let's zoom in the other direction there. And I'm going to adjust them so that we can end up getting uh, this being balanced. Uh, let's start out by, let's say, changing the beam uh, in the back or the rider in the back to go to about 30 grams. And you'll notice that when I change it to 30 grams, the beam is still uh, much higher than the uh, zero marker there. So we'll go ahead and adjust this now to, let's say, 70 grams. And you notice that the beam has gone below the marker. So what that says is 70 grams is too much. So we'll go and adjust this now to 60 grams. And you'll have to trust me because this is a little bit behind there. Uh, 60 grams. That also is below the zero marker. Move this back to 50 grams. And now you'll notice that it's above the zero marker. So what we need to do from there 
is then move the smaller of the uh, riders. And so we can move this now. Let's say we go to uh, 55 here, or five grams in the front and three in the back. You'll notice that it's below zero, so that's too much. We'll move this back here a little bit. And you have to play with this in order to get this done correctly. And it's, it's now gone too far the opposite direction, so we need to move it back to the right again. So we adjust the front marker there, or the front rider. All right, we need to go just a little bit more, and so we're gonna move it to approximately four, and now I'm gonna start using my pencil because we need to have a little bit more precision in this case here. Okay, and it appears that four is a little bit too much. So I'm gonna back off a little bit here. Okay, and we're just about there. We need to back it up just a little bit more. And I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more so we can uh, get a closer look at that. So I'm gonna back it off just a little bit. All right, let's take a look. And it uh, appears that now our marker is uh, the pointer is just at the zero marker there. So the way that we read this is we go to the back there, and I'm going to adjust this just a little bit higher now so we can see the numbers in the back there. Zoom in just a little bit. Okay, so now you can see that we have the back marker on 50 grams, and so we add the, the values together, so that's now 53, and that's because we have the three in the front there. It's going to be 53.5 grams approximately, and that's because it's 50 in the back, plus the three grams that are in the front, and then we go about halfway in between, between three and four, so it's about 53.50 grams gives us uh, the mass of the uh, block there. And again, we, we can indicate that this is the mass of the block based off of the fact that the pointer is pointing towards a zero marker. Again, our units are, in, are all in grams. The rider in the back is pointing towards the 50. And we add that number to the rider in the front. The rider in the front points past three, so that's 53 point something, because we're halfway between uh, four and five, indicated by this straight solid line in there. That gives us 53.5, and because it's, it seems to be exactly on that, we, we call that 53.50, all right? So that's how you would measure uh, grams using a triple beam balance and that uh, and we also talked about all the different parts of a triple beam balance.